Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back for another episode of Destiny Zer Predictions. So this is actually the first week of the Rise of Iron, and I'm really hoping that Zer brings some awesome gear for us today. We may even get some new gear and weapons this week when Zer comes around. Before we get into these predictions, the raid is also coming out on Friday at 1pm. Zer will be here at around 5am Eastern Standard Time, and then the raid will be out as well. I hope this gear is going to help us in the raid somehow, and it would be pretty, pretty nice if Zer were to bring some PvE type gear this week. So we're going to start things off this week with the Titan class. Now this week, I think you guys are going to be getting the Armentarium chest piece. Now if he does sell this and you guys don't have it yet, I would still pick it up. And Zer's items are going to be dropping at a 350 light. So even if you do have it, I would probably pick it up anyways this week just because of the fact that it's going to be a pretty good piece of gear to have. And even if you still have the year 2 version, you can ascend it into the new piece and it'll help you level up really easily. And then you can use that in PvE later on. Especially in the raid, those additional grenades and ammo are really going to help you and the fire team out. So I would definitely pick that up this week if he sells it. Even if you guys already have it, just remember that it will probably help you out regardless. And if not, you can always ascend it into one of your other pieces of gear or a different character that may not be leveled up yet. Now next up we have the Hunters. So this time around, I think it's going to be your lucky week. I think you guys are going to be the ones to get the new piece of gear this week. I have a feeling that there's only going to be bringing one new piece of gear at a time. For a couple weeks, just to not spoil the Rise of Iron too quickly, I don't think that Bungie would allow that to happen. They're just to release a bunch of Rise of Iron gear on the first week. But this time around, for the Hunters, I think you guys are going to be getting that new piece. So the Hunters actually got two new pieces of gear with the Rise of Iron. They have the new boots, the Frost EE5s. There's also a new Blade Dancer helmet that reduces the blink time called the Astrocytes Burst. Both pieces of gear look pretty awesome, and I definitely want to get both of them as soon as possible, especially before trials. They're definitely going to be really awesome to use in PvP. But this time around, I think he's going to be selling the Frost EE5s. So these brand new boots will give your Hunter a tighter turn radius while sprinting. It increases grenade and melee regeneration while sprinting as well. So if you have that artifact that actually gives you no sprint cooldown, and you use this in combination with these boots, that would actually be really awesome and pretty perfect. All of your stuff will be recharging a lot faster, and you will be able to get around corners much faster as well. So if you're using this on your Night Stalker and you had Shade Step, this, these boots would be really awesome and you'd be able to get out of almost any situation with these boots. Hopefully he sells them this week, I really do want to test them out in PvP. But if you are a Hunter, I would definitely pick these things up. They're going to be really great on just about any subclass. Now for the Warlocks, I think you guys are going to be getting Gauntlets. And I did predict this last week, but I really do think that Zer is going to be bringing these Claws of Amonkar pretty soon. These actually will give you an additional melee and they're really great to use on every single subclass for the Warlock. That's why I definitely think he's going to be selling them. He's been bringing nothing but helmets for just about the past five weeks for some reason. And the Warlocks have not gotten gauntlets in over six or seven weeks. So I definitely do think this time around we're going to be getting some gauntlets for the Warlocks. Most likely the Claws of Ahamangara, but there's also that possibility of getting the Impossible Machines. Either way though, they're both really great gauntlets and I would always just keep in mind to pick them up. Even if you already have them this week, it's definitely the week that you want to just pretty much buy one piece of everything from Zer. And hopefully you guys have some strange coins saved up for that as well. Now we do finally have the weapon. Now this time around, because of the fact that I don't think he's going to spoil the Rise of Iron for everybody and just bring a bunch of new gear really soon, I think this time around he's going to be selling the Trespasser. Now this just was released a week early from the Rise of Iron. They actually released this, even though it is a, technically a Rise of Iron weapon, they did release this one week early for anyone that had gotten lucky enough to get it out of an engram. Now, because of the fact that so many people already have it, I think that's why Zer is going to bring it this time around. Most of the people that don't have it yet will be able to pick it up, and it won't really change the game too much or despoil anything by giving out an overpowered weapon this early in the Rise of Iron. So I definitely think that the Trespasser will be the weapon this week. And for the Legacy Engram, I think we're going to be getting the chess piece. So hopefully you guys did enjoy these Zer predictions. Let me know what you guys think Zer's going to sell in the comments down below. This is going to be a really big weekend for Zer, and hopefully somebody out there is able to get these predictions right. So definitely leave a comment. Just make me know what you think, at least one piece of gear that Zer's going to sell. And I will see you guys tomorrow in another video. Peace.